this video is going to be a little different. This is more of a question than of answers, but however, you might get some answers out of this. Uh, the issue is blossom end rot. I know that everybody claims that blossom end rot is due to a calcium deficiency, and the experts included. Um, I've looked on uh, websites of extension offices, and they claim that it's due to a calcium deficiency and that the uh, deficiency is aggravated by too much water or not enough water. And um, it usually happens on the first tomatoes. Now, I almost always get blossom and rot on my first tomatoes. And I don't do anything about it and the problem goes away. So my question is, how does a calcium deficiency correct itself? And um, if it's aggravated by uh, too much or too little water, then why isn't it considered a watering problem? And why is it that uh, later in the season when you get too much or too little water, the problem doesn't occur then? I mean, I just don't understand how this can be a calcium deficiency. And if it was a calcium deficiency, why aren't all the tomatoes on the plant affected? Why is it just a select few? And, um, I have some up here, and there's one there that has it. But once these are gone, I won't have the problem again. And I'm not adding any calcium or doing anything special or anything like that. And it will go away. And uh, I just don't understand how this can be a calcium deficiency. If uh, any of you know exactly how that works, I'd appreciate it uh, because it seems to me it's more temperature related uh, since it happen only happens to the first ones when they're exposed to cooler temperatures from time to time. And I have had excessive rainfall and uh, the plants really haven't dried out. I don't, don't recall ever having a, a real dry day for them. But... Um, I have the problem every single year and it seems to affect the Roma type tomatoes more so than the the more standard round tomatoes. I don't think I've had any any round tomatoes with the problem as of yet. It's just the Romas. So uh, if any of you have any uh, insight into that I'd appreciate it and maybe uh, by bringing up the issue that somehow it could help. And also, uh, Navajo Paul recently did a video about the tomato plants and he mentioned um, about suckering the plants, how he doesn't sucker his because those suckers do produce tomatoes. And he's absolutely right. I mean, uh, I guess this was the main trunk and these tomatoes were on from that, but this was a sucker, and I have, these tomatoes are from a sucker. They do produce. I've never bothered to sucker mine either. And here's another one. This was a sucker, and it has a cluster on it. Several more clusters of blooms. So if you sucker them, then you're giving up a lot of tomatoes and I don't understand the reasoning behind sacrificing all those tomatoes unless it makes for better tomatoes or maybe maybe you don't get blossom end rot. I don't know. <laughs> so if any of you have uh, answers to those questions I'd appreciate it. Thanks and I hope it helps.